Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. Okay there, gang, it's Command Performance time at all battle stations of the AEF and the United Nations. So all of you guys who are spending full time knocking off the axis... Let's knock off that international half hour where the Hollywood stars knock out the answers to your letters to Command Performance Special Service, Los Angeles, USA. Those letters are the magic key to the music and laughter of America. So whatever you want, brother, just write it down and we'll get it for you. And here, an answer to letters from all over the earth, is your commanding officer of Command Performance tonight, 1943's beautiful Academy Award winner, Greer Garson. <laughs> Thank you, Ken Carpenter. And hello, fellows. You've heard all about the big radio networks that link New York with San Francisco, that link Little Turkey Junction, Iowa, with Bumblebee, Arizona, but you're tuned in to the biggest network of them all, a network that links each one of you with your loved ones here at home. I'm sure, too, that you've heard of the famous Chinese theater in Hollywood, where the stars have placed their footprints in the blocks of cement. Well... Tonight, Command Performance is like that theater, with all the footprints filled. A star-packed G.I. double feature jammed into a half hour. For example, here come three dozen guest stars to start things off. The 43rd Army Air Forces Orchestra of Gardner Field playing I Know That You Know. I think it's high time that we do something about this letter from Nikki Rossetti, a former Pittsburgh bookkeeper who used to keep track of charge accounts, but who now keeps track of depth charges on North Atlantic convoy duty. Nikki puts it this way. Dear Command Performance, there's a terrific guy named Pinto Kolvig of the animated cartoons. Sorry, Pinto. Thank him for bringing us the voices of Pluto and Goofy on the show a few months ago, but tell him that now we'd like to have him come up with his famous old battered old up trombone and do his imitation of the old model T car. Okay, Nicky, it's another command performance for Pinto Colvig. <laughs> Thank you, Gear Garson, and uh, hiya, fellas. Uh, I got my old battered up trombone here, and uh, it is battered up and good and brassy, and... <laughs> I paid two bucks for it in a hawk shop down here in Los Angeles a few years ago and got a case cost seventeen fifty. Fits in. And uh I've used this thing in about oh I guess about three hundred animated cartoons representing everything from washing machines and electric razors and 
every kind of a thing you can imagine, but a few years ago, Jack Benny called me up and he said uh, he'd like to have me uh, work out the original sound effects for the old Maxwell car, so I brought the trombone along, and the way it's done, you just pour your naked lip down in here and you just let her flicker. Here we go, step on the star. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Pinto Colvig. Every day when we sneak down to the corner mailbox, we find letters to command performance from faraway places that still keep us running to our world map. And it's a rare day indeed that old Sam the mailman doesn't drop off a special batch for Nelson Eddy. So let's put this popular man to work. Front and center, Nelson Eddy. Thank you, Greg Garson. I'm giving the mail a rapid whirl. I'm saying hi to Corporal Hyde Baraban up there in Greenland. Thanks to you good folks in Australia for your friendly letters. Hello, Virgil E. Blanton at Navy Mobile Hospital Number 4. And greetings, Corporal H.H. H. McQueen in the mob at 928. And brother, get a load of these nicknames on the letter from Norman Dunn at 503. Handlebar, Harriman, Bumblefoot, Butler, Mob Billings, and Papa Godek... Dehydrated Feeney, Squint Duckworth, Pretty Boy Sarah, Chow Hound O'Connor, Fallen Arches Mazza, and Sun Kissed. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to think the Gold Rush produced colorful names. Well, anyway, for Pat, Bill, Steve, Guy, and Red at 709, here's the song all of you go for. I think it's a good theme song for the whole AEF Stout Hearted Man. Just a second to answer this letter. It's from G.I. Joe Anonymous at Dutch Harbor. Dear Command Performance, in the Richmond District of San Francisco, 
there was an old fruit peddler with an accent and the loudest voice in America. All he sold was apples, oranges, and bananas. Ask anybody in Frisco. They'll know him. And please, just let me hear that yell of his again. Okay, Joe. We checked with our Golden Gate office, and here's the call of that fruit peddler. Ah, uh, certainly didn't take long, did it? As a lot of you know, we get so many letters on command performance that ask for the song, You're Always in My Heart. Rob Dixon, speaking for the Hell Drivers in that motor pool at 954, says, That song means very much to me and my buddies, and nothing would please us more than to hear it on our own show, Command Performance. But it's got to be sung by Gloria Warren. And this seems to be the favorite combination of Private Jack Roberts at 860 and the Red Legs at 961. And there's an army nurse here and there who writes to us of someone who is always in her heart. So next on the agenda, this favorite song of thousands of you, sung by Gloria Warren. <laughs> I'm checking in next with APO 957 and those big-time operators from Kentucky and Indiana with such fine, dignified titles as Box, Red Rider, Sock, Load, and Dirty Pete. <laughs> also Sarge Del Cahan. Is that how you pronounce it, Sarge? And the Ninth Marines. I love, too, to the tankers who helped wind up that job in Tunisia. And a special kiss to three more Marines who call themselves... The Bunch on the Rock. Tony, Bill, and Stinky. <laughs> and our very best to the aerial gunners in Ward 17 at 647. My goodness, fellas, so many of you signed that letter that I can't mention every one, but speedy recovery to Shorty Danish, Chubby Byers, Dingy Lewis, the Brooklyn Bull, and the whole workshop. <laughs> and especially for you, but for the whole AEF too, command performance presents one of your real favorites, that mad cat comedian of the Paramount lot, Cass Daly. Oh, thank you, Miss Carson, and hi, fellas. 
Gee, Miss Garson, it's a real thrill for me to be up here with you. Gosh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Why, thank you, cats. <laughs> Gee, I sure wish I could look as beautiful as you. Oh, Cass, well, that doesn't matter anyhow. Beauty is only external. It's what you have beneath that counts. I know, but I already gave mine to the scrap drive. <laughs> oh, now, Cass. <laughs> Oh, Cats, you've got nothing to be ashamed of. Take away Betty Grable's legs and Hedy Lamar's eyes and Lana Turner's figure, and what have you got? Me. <laughs> but really, Miss Garson, I must tell you how much I enjoyed your picture work, especially ran Ransom Harvest. What is Random you? Harvest. <laughs> Sure, you meant that one. <laughs> you mean you you, uh, you did like Random Harvest? Yes, I loved it. Why well, liked it? Say, I why well, every week I went down to the San Diego Naval Base and I played Random Harvest with the sailors. <laughs> what well, you you mean uh, you uh, you play Random Harvest with the sailors? Yeah, I pick them at random and you should see what I harvest. <laughs> Wait a minute, Cass. Wait a minute. Uh, haven't you, uh, I mean, uh, haven't you a, a young gentleman friend who, uh, well, uh, who uh, objects? Oh, I'll say I have. I go around with one of the cutest little characters you've ever seen. Oh, is it, uh, is it love? <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Cass, Cass, what does your dream man look like? Well, have you ever seen a short beer with legs? <laughs> Say, uh, uh, well, uh, that, uh, that chap sounds like he's got a head on him oh. <laughs> Not only that, he's got a heart of gold and a mouth full of samples <laughs> Well, but I'll, uh, I bet he's a very entertaining young man hmm? Certainly is <laughs> Every night he comes over to the house and we sit on the sofa and Turn the lights down low and takes off his shoes and then he starts there for three hours wriggling his toes and... Three hours? What do you mean, wriggling his toes? Sure. He's not the kind of a guy that sits around doing nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, hmm. I think uh, maybe you better sing, Cass. <laughs> okay. Tell us here's a little area I'm doing in my next picture called Lament of a Laundry Girl. Sexy, ain't it? <laughs> well, ain't it? I'm Steely Van Gertz. I iron shirts. I iron shirts so my fingers hurt. <laughs> when my fingers hurt, it drives me nerds. I'm Steely Van Gertz, I iron shirt. <laughs> I come in the morning, take off my hat. I mind my business, I never chat. I wet in the wet and flat in the flat. I flat in the flat till it's flat. That's that. <laughs> I've got those iron the cups and collars. Carefully fold the shirt tail under. Put a pin on a plate where it's bound to stick your blue. I've got those tear off all the buttons. Rip up your underwear to pieces. Wash your husband's sweaters and make them sleeveless blue. My boss, Mr. Finch, he gives me a pinch. He gives me a pinch, my boss, Mr. Finch. He tries to clinch, I don't give an inch. <laughs> I know what to do in a pinch, Mr. Finch. <laughs> we park by the road, just him and me. The moon is high and so is he. <laughs> he gets ideas and so do I. So what do I do? I plug the guy! <laughs> Got a dime to even live on. 
Where the dickens am I gonna get the rent from blue? I've got those tablet stony pavements. Both of my feet, they burn like fire. Just can't get me a job for some decent wages, blue. This unemployment leaves a dent. Now I'm broke, badly bent. Not a cent to pay the rent. What should I do? Live in a tent? <laughs> <laughs> I needed some work, was gone berserk. Met my boss. Hello, said the... Nope. <laughs> he said, come now, forget our row. Come back to your job. I'll be good, I vow. I got so shall I let him kiss me. Should I accept and take my chances? With the things I might have to contend with Daily blue. I've got those I mean a dilemma Being I need a job so badly Shall I live in a quandary Or work in a laundry blue? <laughs> Holy gee, I'm in a pickle I guess I'll have to toss a nickel should I will? Should I won't? <laughs> no coaching, please. <laughs> <laughs> Heads I do, tails I don't. I'll take head. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take what I got. <laughs> I'm Sealy Van Gertz, I iron shirt, I iron shirt, till my fingers hurt. When my fingers hurt, it drives me nerd. I'm Sealy Van Gertz, I iron shirt. <laughs> That was grand. I wish you could have seen her, boys. Skipping around the world now for a second, I'd like to drop off a hello to Hattie C. Muller at 851. And I'm thinking of two little girls in England named Betty and Joan of Guildford, Surrey. And special greetings to APO 762, 922, and 928. To the crowd in Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and the stalwart men of Midway. Our best to wink and blink and a nod with the British Army in India. Speaking of the British, we're very proud of a letter from Blondie Bill Stokes, care of GPO, London. Bill says, Command performance clears away the monotony of tropical afternoons. <laughs> I bet it does. It's a great show for the great American boys. After we clean out the Nazis together, I'll hop a transport with them and visit you folks in the States. Thank you, Bill Stokes. And that goes for every fighting man of Britain. And for the fighting men and women of all the United Nations, here's another command performance by your great favorite, Nelson Eddy, singing Oh, What a Beautiful Morning, from the play Oklahoma. Go in 
This is Greer Garson speaking from America. I've never sat in a barracks room in Newfoundland and heard that word come out of a radio. I've never braced myself against the wall of a rolling battleship and heard the word America jump across an ocean to beat against my heart. But somehow, I know what it means to you and what it does to you. Maybe it's something like pulling into the hometown station, looking out the train window and seeing your mother standing there. Hearing the word America near an airfield on Munda, on an oil tanker in the Arctic Circle. Must be a mixture of happiness and pain. Often those two, pain and happiness, are one thing, aren't they? Like, well, like when women cry because they're so happy. Why do we speak of this? I'll tell you. Because of men like you, who are ready to give back to this country all that it has given you, we too have found a new and greater meaning in a word, America. And now, fellows, thanks for your company. And to each and every one of you over there, love and good luck from the USA. This is Ken Carpenter with a closing notation that music tonight came from the 43rd Army Air Forces Orchestra of Gardner Field. And the command performance arranged in cooperation with the Hollywood Victory Committee is produced for you men of the Armed Forces of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. Hey!